brought to you by GTA. We start with you. Thankful for the Guam Police Department, GDOE Superintendent John Fernandez says the officers providing an interim presence on campus has been helpful in securing the public high schools. This comes after the Guam Judiciary decided to not move forward with the School Resource Officers Program's extension. That expired on September 30th. According to Fernandez, there were a couple reasons the department believed the Guam Judiciary did not want to extend. One of the issues is that uh, we're, we're aware of some of the challenges uh, that the uh, judiciary has had, uh, that we've had in, in executing the program. Uh, the cost of personnel on that side has been, has been uh, uh, difficult to uh, meet under the grant uh, that we've received. Second, there's some issues that arrive and that, that come, have come up in implementation of the program in terms of what uh, the judiciary employees can do versus what uh, police uh, officers and law enforcement can do when responding to a situation. A situation such as confiscating and possessing contraband and then turning it over to law enforcement. Fernandez states that those nuances get lost in the big scheme of things and it has created some problems and challenges. I think at the end of the day um, they decided that they, you know, they'll go in a different direction and may not be on, on top of their list as a priority given the other issues that they want to address. GDOE's goal is to have 14 SROs with at least one at every secondary school. Fernandez adds that the program also includes a mentoring and counseling aspect that will be fulfilled when the full service is in place. Until then, GPD will remain on the school grounds. According to GPD Chief Steve Ignacio, the officers assumed the position during the first week of October. The number of officers uh, uh, fluctuates on the number of officers available, but what we do uh, is provide uh, coverage to each high school. And so we're there uh, based on a, a conversation we've had with the Department of Education. Uh, we're there during lunchtime and either when the kids come in in the morning or when they're leaving in the afternoon for, for the, the end of the day. Chief Ignacio says the department's patrol officers' manpower has not been affected because they are using the Special Operations Division, Highway Patrol, and Juvenile Investigation officers to meet these safety needs. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero. Brought to you by GTA. We start with you.